Salvation history is a pretty new term. It really is less than a couple hundred years old, but the concept is much older. It probably started with St. Irenaeus. Irenaeus was Bishop of Lyon in what is now France and lived until about 202 AD. Irenaeus might have died a martyr, but during his life he was an outstanding theologian probably the first great theological genius in antiquity. In defending the church doctrine from Gnostics, Irenaeus tried to defend the Old Testament and the God revealed in the Old Testament by showing the story to be part of a systematic plan by God, the economy of salvation, as he put it, or the divine economy. Oikonomia, that's the term in Greek, it doesn't really mean the same thing as economy means in English. We think of money and trade and finance and GDP numbers when we think of economy. But for Irenaeus, oikonomia really means management or even housekeeping. And this is actually the management done by God in his dealings with the human race, all of which are done with his ultimate plan of salvation in mind. God had created Adam in his own image and likeness. We know that story. But Adam's sin ruptured the relationship and disturbed God's plan. It blew it up, so to speak. But God had a plan to put Adam back together again, which could be worked out in salvation history. Irenaeus divided the Old Testament into various stages, from Adam to the flood, to God's election of Abraham, to the mission of Moses, to the prophets, and finally to Jesus Christ. Ultimately, Jesus Christ will come back at the end, and that's the last step in the plan. In each of these ages, God was preparing and maturing Adam's children. God would, in various ages, address humankind at his appropriate level. This is all in preparation for the second Adam, Jesus Christ, who would come and bring everything to a head. He would be the recapitulation of Adam, and indeed the whole story of Adam as it is seen in the Bible. Adam's sin and the way it played out in history needed a recapitulation in Jesus Christ. This term for recapitulation is anakephaliosis, and it too is used by St. Paul in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10. What is this recapitulation? What is Irenaeus talking about? Well, the advent of Christ, the Son of God, is the reversal of the lapse of Adam, the Son of God, and the restoration of what Adam lost. For Irenaeus, the whole of human history, from creation to consummation, is summed up in two persons, Adam the first and Adam the last. All of human history is summed up, that is, recapitulated in the protological Adam, that's the first Adam, and the eschatological Adam, that's the last Adam. This recapitulation is performed by Jesus, partly through his death. Just as by Adam, by means of a tree, made us all debtors to God, so also by a tree, Jesus Christ achieves remission of all those debts. But mostly this takes place through Jesus' incarnation, which all of humanity, human history, and so forth was summed up in when Jesus Christ took on our human nature. This divine economy led to recapitulation in Jesus Christ. Economy culminates in recapitulation. Economy, recapitulation. Economy, recapitulation. Oikonomia, anakephalosis. Let's see if you can say that 10 times fast. So that's Irenaeus. Let's see how much of that you got.